Hi there Capricorn, so I'm going to be doing your reading right now and I'd like to make a note that I do offer personal readings. So if you're interested, please check out the description box below. If you do plan on subscribing, please make sure to hit the notification button, that way you'll get notified whenever I post my videos. And if this reading resonates, please make sure to hit the like button as well. So I'm going to be doing past, present and future and I'm going to be pulling out oracle cards at the end, okay? Capricorn? So let's get started. Can I get the past energy for Capricorn, please? The past energy for Capricorn. The past energy for Capricorn. The past energy for Capricorn. 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 Okay. So the past energy for Capricorn, please. The Empress. Well, it just started off as great energy. But it's like the Devil. And the King of Cups in reverse. And um, the present energy. It's the Six of Cups in reverse. The Lovers. Um, it's interesting. It's like the devil and the lovers, which is talking about like an intensity. And it's like the six of pentacles and the ten of wands. And the future energy, the six of swords in reverse. The magician. And temperance. This is going to be interesting to clarify. But it's like the ten of cups in reverse. There's someone that's unhappy, okay? That um, things didn't pan out or the both of you are not together here. Even though there's like an intensity, there's desire, temptation. But I feel like you are dealing with a very special connection with the lover's card. But uh, with the Empress, you're showing up in your power as someone that's very loving, very nurturing and very beautiful. And I feel like there was someone that wanted to express how they felt towards you. And if they did, it wasn't done in the, in the best of way. Okay, like in the healthiest manner. Even though, I feel like this could have been a very intense connection, but I do see a disconnect with the Six of Cups in reverse. So I feel like there's someone that's wanting to balance things out. They're wanting an equal give and take in energy, and it could be stressing them out with the Ten of Wands. And I don't see someone detaching with the Six of Swords in reverse or moving on. I, I feel like there's someone that's wanting to manifest this connection into the 3D. They're wanting to heal things. They're wanting to balance things out. This is also talking about like someone trying to remain patient here. But it could also be ref in reference to healing. So the Ten of Cups in the upright is like a happy family dynamic, right? Things are really working out, but it's like the Ten of Cups in reverse. So let me clarify the Ten of Cups in reverse for Capricorn, please. The Ten of Cups in reverse. The Ten of Cups in Reverse for Capricorn. The Ten of Cups in Reverse for Capricorn. Okay. Clarifying the Ten of Cups in Reverse. The World in Reverse. So I don't see an ending. Or an end to a cycle here. But it's like the Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Ten of Cups in reverse. So I don't see stability either. Or the both of you are not together in the 3D. And look at that, the Empress in reverse. So there's uncertainty here. Even insecurities regarding this connection. So this situation could have thrown you off. There you go. The Two of Swords in reverse. So maybe you do have a sense of clarity. So this could even be you like wanting to take control of yourself here or the situation. Given the fact that you may have an awareness that there is uncertainty or a lack of stability. So let me clarify the Empress. The Three of Wands in reverse. So... 
I feel like someone was indecisive here. Could be feeling restless. There could have been confusion on your part. The hangman. So it seems like there was stagnancy, but I feel like you did have a sense of enlightenment here. A sense of awareness. Trying to look at things from various perspectives. Strength. Trying to remain strong as well. Very brave. So let me clarify the devil. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. There was uncertainty here, confusion. The Four of Wands. Seems like you were dealing with a very special connection. It could have been a marriage, but there was a lot of confusion surrounding it. Something took a turn for the negative here. The King of Cups. Someone feels quite strongly towards you. There's a lot of love. But the, at, at that time, they could have been wearing a mask because there was confusion. But it turned... It's like s somebody feeling quite intensely towards you. But let me clarify the King of Cups in reverse. There you go, the devil. Twice. So maybe there is something unhealthy about the situation. Like someone having to express how they truly feel. And look at that. It's like the Five of Swords with the Eight of Swords. So it seems like there is conflict between you and this person. And with the Eight of Swords, someone could have been stuck in their head about things. So a lot of overthinking with the Devil card showing up twice and the Eight of Swords. So someone thinking about you, possibly. And that could have led to the conflict with the Five of Swords, especially if there's overthinking or even fear-based thoughts. So let me clarify the Six of Cups in reverse. The Two of Cups. It's quite interesting. It's like this um, difficult situation. But I do see like you are dealing with a very special connection with the Two of Cups. I don't see someone detaching with Death in reverse or walking away. But they're not speaking their truth with the Ace of Swords in reverse. There may not even be communication. Let me clarify the lovers. So someone's not really taking action. But they're feeling restless with the Four of Swords in reverse. So as long as this person keeps their feelings to themselves, not really taking action, not speaking their truth, um, they could very well be losing sleep here, feeling restless. And there you go, because there's something unresolved with the Ten of Wands in reverse. There's something that someone cannot let go. So let me clarify the Six of Pentacles with the Ten of Wands. The Fool in reverse. Judgment. So this is someone that's having to make an important choice regarding taking this leap of faith. And right now... Um, they could be like losing a s hope. There could even be fear surrounding this connection. They're stressed out with a Ten of Wands. Let me get another card. Like I, I feel like things haven't been healed. So if there's something unresolved in this connection, things haven't been balanced out or healed here with the Star card. And there you go with the Eight of Cups. So there is dissatisfaction. Someone could have walked away as well, or this is talking about a separation, a distance between you and this person. So let me clarify the Six of Swords in reverse. Again, the Six of Cups in reverse. The Seven of Pentacles. So if... There's someone that's having to detach from the past, possibly. So I do see the Six of Swords in reverse and the Six of Cups in reverse with the Seven of Pentacles. So there is someone that's reflecting on this connection. They're thinking, of you, thinking about you. They could very well be missing you, feeling nostalgic. So I do see a disconnect here with the Hierophant card in reverse. So let me clarify the Magician before I say anything. 
The Two of Pentacles, okay? So this could very well be you trying to remain balanced. There you go, Justice. Again, referring to balance. So if this is you wanting to manifest great things for you, this is like an advice to kind of keep your energy balanced, remain patient. So the three of cups in reverse. I feel like there is someone that's wanting to balance, balance things out here. They're wanting to make things right, but they're weighing their options as well. So let me clarify temperance. There you go, the king of swords. There's someone that's trying to remain patient, trying to remain balanced as well. So this could even be the person that you're dealing with. The king of swords. But they're not, yeah, they're not really rushing in impulsively. They're trying to be logical, practical here, possibly even in control over their emotions. So I feel like if this person were to head towards you, they're going to do it in a very um, slow and methodical fashion. There is a tentativeness here. I feel like they're trying to remain patient and balanced when it comes to their energy. So maybe in the past, um, since I do see the devil card showing up twice. So let me get another card before I say anything. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. So I do see a passionate new beginning here. So whether you're dealing with new love or someone from the past, okay? So I do see a potential for a passionate new beginning. So let me... Because it's like something unhealthy in the past. But I see the, the lovers, which is great. So it's like, choose love. You always have choice. Make yours with love. So you do have a choice here. You could be cautious, though, with the Page of Pentacles. That could even be your energy. Listen with your heart. You are listening, but need to hear with a loving heart. So keeping your heart space open. Mm -mm. And ask for help. What, what do you really need? Be willing to accept support. And let me get further insight from the Romance Angel cards for Capricorn, please, to get further insight. Ooh, I forgot to do this. Sorry about that. Let me get further insight from the Intimate Tarot for Capricorn. 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 The chariot. I feel like there's someone that's having to make a choice to move forward here with determination. I feel like there is someone that's feeling restless though. They're wanting to possibly rush in impulsively, but yet they're taking their time, being cautious. Okay. The knight of swords in regards to taking action with the knight of swords. The Knight of Pentacles. So this is someone that's trying to be methodical. They're trying to think things through. Energetically, I feel like they are heading towards you. With the Queen of Wands, they find you to be very charming, attractive, charismatic. The Six of Pentacles. There's someone that's wanting there to be an equal give and take in energy. Again, a balanced connection. So either you're de dealing with someone from the past or someone new here. Okay. So far, so good. Oh boy. So it seems like there has been an ending with the Ten of Swords. There could have been pain from the past, but it's nearing completion, which is great. And there you go. I do see a potential for a brand new beginning in love here with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. So let me get further insight from the Romance Angel deck for Capricorn, please. Capricorn. Capricorn, please. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So Leo got that. So you could have been dealing with a Leo. 
uh, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So you have gained someone's... So someone could very well be attracted to you. And it's like reconciliation. So there is a potential for a reconciliation here. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So just to be mindful of that. It may not be for all of you. But it's like heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So there could be a desire to communicate. Let me get one more card. And past life relationship. You have known each other before. Okay, so you are dealing with a very special connection here since I do see the lovers. And that's my reading for you, Capricorn. And I'll see you next time. Take care now.